Good afternoon, and welcome to the beginning of sugar elimination for at least the next three weeks. Ta-da! This is Sue Lawton and... Deb Waylin. Hi, everyone. Welcome. And the sun is indeed shining in New Jersey today, but we have very high winds. Yes. Yes, we were having an obstacle course driving today. Everyone's garbage cans were blowing all over. That's true. I noticed that here as well. Yep. As many of you know, I did three months of no white sugar and loved it and really thoroughly enjoyed it, paid attention to trigger points, paid attention to issues I had. And then I fell off the wagon. Not only did I fall off the wagon, but I dragged the wagon, broke it up, dragged the wagon into the forest and set it on fire. <laughs> so Yeah, but the, you have to tell the rest of that though. What's that? The rest of that saying was, and use the insurance money to buy Twinkies. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've never had a Twinkie. <laughs> oh, no. For me, but when I saw you post that. When I saw you posted on Facebook, I was hysterical. <laughs> yes, I forgot about that. I would have put Reese's Pieces. Okay, yes. I mean, nothing's better than peanut butter with chocolate. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Anyway, as of 6 p.m., dun, 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 we are sugar-free. Now we're going to mm -hmm. tell you how to stay that way. First, you're going to drink lots and lots of just plain water. And here's the reasons why. Today we give you the reasons why. And all the reasons people have written to us about for two years about their really feeling good about themselves on these three-week breaks, these three-week vacations, giving your body from sugar. Mm -hmm. Well... We know that when we drink a lot of water, it gives us more energy because we're flushing all the bad things out of our body. It helps us think better. We concentrate better. And good hydration is good for the overall functioning of our bodies. It's amazing what it can do for you. Mm -hmm. And during this three-week process, a number of people said their friends and neighbors commented how they looked younger. They were glowing. I mean, these mm -hmm. are just general comments that they didn't know people had stopped sugar. But right. that outside unsolicited confirmation that the body was reporting, I feel good. Mm -hmm. I feel good. Doo -doo -doo. Yes. Okay. Remember, if you were with our prep last Friday, you gave all of the good things to your friends, neighbors, and relatives who visited for Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. And this is what you get to say. I have removed all of the bad food from the house and it was delicious. <laughs> it really was. Mm -hmm. Sugar. No vitamins, no minerals, no enzymes, no protein. Looks like a drug. Acts like a drug. Why, my goodness, it must be a drug. Sure is. It's in everything. It's on everything. You have to read labels ever so carefully. We gave you the list for that last Friday. That webinar is posted in several places. That's right. Remember, most of the sugars end in an OS. 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 Yeah. Let's tell them about the cycle. I told them last time. You tell them. Okay. Well, here's the thing. You eat sugar. You like it. You crave it. Okay. Then what happens is your blood sugar spikes. Even if you're not a diabetic, if you're just a regular person eating sugar, your blood sugar is going to go up. That lovely dopamine in your brain makes you feel really good. Uh -huh. Okay. You are now addicted to it. Your insulin is secreted like crazy. And so your blood sugar levels drop. Yeah. Well, what is everyone's natural reaction when your blood sugar drops like that three, four o'clock in the afternoon? Everybody heads to the machines at work and buys a candy bar. So your blood sugar's level fell. So now you want more sugar and because you and you want that that sugar high. Your insulin levels are high, and what that's doing is making your body store fat, which is what we don't want to happen. Yeah, and that's that little cottage cheese effect on your thighs that's ever so attractive. Yeah. Mm. And then, of course, all those hunger and cravings start all over again. Your, your blood sugar drops again. Now you're hungry. And now you're back on that vicious cycle. And so now you want to eat sugar again. So it really is 
it's sad to say that you're a sugar addict. It's it's a tough addiction. It really is. It certainly is, Allie. <laughs> yes. All right, finally, settling down to my vegan, gluten-free, soy-free, <laughs> antibiotic-free, raw, non-GMO, organic, fat-free, low-carb meal. <laughs> uh, that's my dinner, ice cubes. <laughs> yes. No, it's not that bad. No, it isn't. Some people think it is, all right? You cannot solve problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. Part of choosing to be sugar-free is developing new ways of shopping, new ways of mm -hmm. keeping food in our refrigerator, preparing it, selling it to the family, because you got to tell everybody, okay, for the next three weeks, we really are going to do this because then we're going to go on vacation. School's going to be over. For three weeks, we're all going to be really healthy, sleep really good, and feel better. We're going to have new patterns. We're not going to have pancakes every morning. We're going to have other things that are very healthy for us. You have mm -hmm. to change something for something to change. Mm -hmm. And it's super to get the support of your family. You know, just have make it a whole family affair. It's much easier. If you don't buy it and bring it in the house, they can't eat it. That's true. And if they want to whine and complain, you just say in three weeks, we'll clean out the freezer. We'll put all the really bad things in the freezer and you'll love it in three weeks. <laughs> okay so you know we always talk about why we want to do this and of course um you know for a lot of us it is weight loss but for many others it's to improve our energy we want to get rid of that like low like low feeling that nothing not wanting to do anything we want to get better sleep we want to eliminate all that excess gas <laughs> yes. okay and bloating uh, um, we had a friend of ours, right, Sue, right, Sue, that used to like little two as she walked. <laughs> yes. In fact, she was proud of it. She would stand up and go, wait, she wait, was be quiet. And she was, just, you know, it's like, what? Yeah. Yeah. But what most of us um, tell us is how clear their mind are. They're able to think better. They're able to focus better. And when we can do that, just the day just goes so much better. What else are we doing this for, Sue? Um, I love my brain and I protect my brain because I gather so many facts and experiences. And that's where I record the oils teaching me new things and feeling new things mm -hmm. and I organize it. Clarity of mind. My mind is frighteningly clear to begin with, but when I'm off of sugar, man, I was like a young person, about 12. I was seeing things new that I didn't realize were there. Right. And you also shared that your senses improve, like your sense of smell and hearing and all those things were just so much better as well. Right. Not that they were ever bad. See, that's the real scary part. They were never mm -hmm. bad, but they got to be so much more powerful. Um, a lot of people become even tempered when they eliminate sugar. Instead of having extreme highs and lows emotionally, they're nicer mm -hmm. to be around because they are more even tempered. Right. And, you know, you may experience some of the cranky when you first get off the sugar, but that will pass. And actually, euphoria does set in after that. It, does. it really does. It yeah. does. Um, candida relief. We've all talked about this and what an addiction it is across the United States. These same symptoms, these same benefits are going to happen as you reduce the generations of candida that are thriving in your body. Right. You're going to have di extraordinary digestive balance. If you want to know symptoms for candida, go online. There's a website called candida.com, and it lists pages and pages of symptoms where people had been misdiagnosed mm -hmm. with symptoms, and nothing changed. didn't matter what kind of medication, what kind of treatment they had, until they changed their diet. That's why right. I beg you, three weeks, give your body a vacation just for three weeks. When everything's working better, everything everything's improved. Your heart health, your oxygenation, your pancreas functions better. We're getting rid of all those toxins that we're hiding out in there. Um, and Sue always talks the importance of calcium for our bones and things like that. Um, and, of course, we get fat elimination. 
those stores of fat from eating all that sugar will start to be burned up. Right. I call it fat redemption. Okay. You can redeem your stamps by cashing in your fat. Okay. <laughs> and DNA repair happens because you got to, you know how sometimes you have a, like a pile of paper that you put in your file cabinet when people come over and you don't really ever get back to it. <laughs> or you have a pile of magazines uh -huh. next to your recliner. You're going to get through them. There's great articles. You want to read them. Well, sometimes we never get through and just one day we just throw everything out. Well, DNA repair within your body is the same way. If your body is too tired, if there's too much physical fatigue going on, DNA repair is also slowed down or bottom drawered. Mm -hmm. So when you eliminate the sugar and the body having to process sugar and having to deal with the side effects, your DNA repair gets enhanced. Bye-bye brain fog. That's one of the first things people report, isn't it, Miss Deb? Oh, yes. Yeah, brain fog is gone. Energy is increased, and their thinking is so much more enhanced. It just is. You need to accept the fact that sugar is an addiction. I've accepted it. I've been talking about it for with people for like three years, saying mm -hmm. we have to help each other. We can't do this by ourselves. We can't pretend. We can't pretend we can't, don't have to change our shopping habits or our store visiting habits or our restaurant habits. Hey, everybody knows I love carrot cake. I don't even look at that cabinet anymore at the diners to see if they have any carrot cake. I don't even look. It's a new habit yeah, I, for me not to notice. Mm-hmm. Thereby, the sugar demon can just be very upset. It's true. And the less you eat the sweets, the less you're going to crave them. And that really is true. The cravings do go away. Yes, they, they do. do diminish. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is me now. <laughs> <laughs> Great, Sue. Beautiful body. <laughs> well, yeah, I just put on some like fresh coconut oil all over walking on the beach got my lips done yeah good i was never shaped like this my body didn't come that way okay no mine didn't either unfortunately Please that's okay stand candida is a major contributor to inflammation mm -hmm. it's a major contributor to making nests for disease to thrive in your body it's a major contributor to pain in your joints pain in your back mm -hmm. Pain in your neck. <laughs> Sometimes the pain in your neck has another name. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like significant other, hubby, <laughs> partner. <laughs> friend. Remember your friend who called five times during dinner last night? Yes. Mm hmm. Did yes. You speak with well, her? She's not a pain in the neck. She. She's a pain in the uh, <clears throat> gluteus maximus down there. <laughs> Did you ever speak to her? Uh, n no, I didn't yet. Good. Nope. Good. Good, good, good. She's full of candida, the poor thing. Yeah, she really is. Yeah. Candida you helps you become a victim. Victim thinking, victim excuses, blame, blame. We have so many patients that come through the clinic where we do psychological counseling that if we could just change one thing, which is their blame attitude, Mm -hmm. we know they'd become more healthy instantly. The minute you hear you say, well, that's not my fault, or no, that wasn't me, then you've right. got to look at what it is you are owning. Because if you're busy unowning or disowning mm -hmm. or resisting, like I could say, hey, it's all somebody else's fault that I eat carrot cake. No, it's not. Why, are they lifting the fork to your mouth for you? No, that's <laughs> on me. Uh -huh. Exactly. But, you know, the important thing with candida, Sue, we talk about this, it does impact our digestive system. It makes us full of mm -hmm, bad stuff. Yeah. So when we stop the foods that feed it, our whole system starts functioning better. We're really eliminating the bad things in our bodies. So our immune system gets better. 
all those generational candidas overgrowth starts to go away. The, we try to get all that great bacteria in our digestive tracts. And we're able to deal with troubling things on a day-to-day -day basis much better. Yes, and it's really important that you accept the fact that you're going to feel different. It's really important that you accept the fact that you're going to sit down and you're going to do journaling. Wednesday night, we're doing a webinar on vision board and journaling. By the way, Deb, surprise, we're going to do a yeah. webinar on vision board and journaling to help people express things that they were stuffing because it's time. When people yep. can't give up carbs, it's because they're still stuffing their feelings. So I sure hope you're available, Deb. Y yeah. <laughs> And this has happened to people. When you refuse to change your perspective or you refuse to take your good health seriously, these mm -hmm. are Weight Watcher diet pills. You've been reading them upside down. I love it. All right. See, this is part of that blame game I was telling you about. Yeah. Yep. And these are things that Deb and I have shared with each other about when we allow triggers to mm -hmm. initiate that familiar feeding feeling of it's feeding time. Yeah, Let's that's go to the carb cupboard and pull out some chips. Yeah, feeding time at the zoo right now. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the, the little um, demon is going like, oh, just have a couple of chips. That won't hurt you. Oh, mm -hmm. just make some bread. Put some little peanut butter right on that toast. It will be so good for you. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and you know, we don't want to allow ourselves to get too hungry, so you want to build in snacks. We said it takes a little bit of time, prepare them in advance, put your carrot sticks, celery, whatever you want, your nuts, but have them ready for when you are, you know, you are hungry. Sometimes your plans go um, astride and you can't get home at a certain time, so it's good to have something you can reach into your bag for. And it's really important that while we're going through this process, even if it's just three weeks, that you have something to do with your hands. We know mm -hmm. you're all taking the lifelong vitality every day. You're taking it with food. We know you're using the PB assist because again, you want to reseed the intestinal tract because you're beaten up on the candida and you're washing away the old generations. Those things are also very important. Right. But like Deb's friend calling yesterday repeatedly while we were just a bunch of us having dinner at her house, that can cause anxiety. Those things can trigger, mm -hmm. you know, conflict. And if your right. emotional triggers lead you to the carbo covered or the freezer looking for ice cream, then you need to give yourself a new kind of treat. Mm -hmm. People who know us know John and I love books. I have an entire bookcase that's full of art books. I love art. I love visiting art. I love visiting botanical gardens. That's God's art and full expression. And so I give myself visual treats now as opposed to tongue treats. Okay. You have to be doing this for yourself. Like when I'm not having sugar, it's not because John wants me to look different. It's not because... I want to please somebody else. I'm eliminating sugar because I'm preserving my brain. I'm eliminating nesting areas within my body that is well over 70 now, okay, that mm -hmm. I don't want to have an opportunity for something evil to come live inside of me, okay? Mm -hmm. So I don't really right. respond to compliments or criticism about my body. I actually find it very amusing when people think, their judgments of me are going to matter mm -hmm. to me. I find that very amusing. Yeah, um, you have to keep the focus on you and how you want to feel. And of course, sugar elimination does make so many changes within your body. And you will learn that those old habits of reacting to negativity by going to the refrigerator stops. It is, I mean, so many people told us that they don't no longer open the refrigerator, that they don't have to go and look for something when they're dealing something with an emotional overtone. And it really, really does work. Yep. 
and one slip does not make a career. That's supposed to be E E R. <laughs> I like that. I could be studying creative spelling. That's correct. That's fine. But explain about the slip. You know, so many of us in, that have dieted, and I hate the use of that word because now it's really we're trying to make better nutritional um, choices. But once we, like, say we we had a little donut because the mini donuts were out on the coffee brunch table in the office at nine o'clock. In the past, people say, oh, well, I goofed up today, and they're just going to keep eating the rest of the day. Don't do it. You made a little slip. We're all human. It's fine. But go right back. Go eat the carrots. Go eat your celery. Go have some nice protein and salad for lunch. Don't blow the whole day just because you made a little slip. Yes, we had friends over on Saturday, and they were laughing with how many celery sticks I already have pre-cut up, how many different mm -hmm. vegetables and fruits I already have in my refrigerator, because Sunday was D-Day. We That's right. started because I have to go cold turkey. I'm not one of those that can gradually change something. No. I just have to smack it, you know? <laughs> Well, why do you think I had you guys over? We had to clean everything out. It's gone. Yes. And we was. ate very healthy. A lot of the veggies, you yeah. know. Um, it was an like excellent, we said, excellent dinner. Yeah. Change your shopping habits. Don't go shopping when you're hungry. Walk the outer corners of the supermarket. Most of those foods are good for you. Explore new vegetables. Sue and I always say try a new vegetable. Yes. Okay. Try something new. There's so many things out there. You can explore so many fun things. I mean, I love to browse the produce department because my supermarket, they always have these little hidden surprises every once in a while, something new. So yeah. go for it. Try it. Yes. Okay. You can control your mouth. Well, some people have told me mine doesn't get under control real often, but most of them <laughs> have the ability to control your mouth. Okay, but if you can't, we have things that can help us. What can help us? Well, immortal along the jawline with a clear intention that everything you put into your mouth is for your health's best interest is very powerful. Mm -hmm. When I'm having a bad time, I put clove right on my tongue, and then I go brush my teeth with On Guard. I go through a lot of On Guard toothpaste during the first three or four days. But uh -huh. the difference is I'm re-educating my taste buds expectation yes. of Reese's peanut butter cups or whatever it might think it wants. Whatever uh -huh. the demon is trying to stir. Frankincense is right. excellent. I know you just throw frankincense all over you, Miss Deb. Yes, I do. And right now I'm drinking my water with lemon in it. Good. So helps me get, get through. I just um I love the, the taste of it, but it also it helps me not crave something. It's very interesting. Well, sometimes the, whoops, the demon makes you play back. It's like peeling layers of an onion for older people like myself. They'll mm -hmm. play back unhappy incidences that used to be deep triggers for you. Maybe things you haven't thought about in 40 years. Oh, yes. While you're going through this, they will bait you because the sugar demon is an addiction. So that means it's mm -hmm. a knowing entity. And mm -hmm. elevation really counters that. For me, the uglier the picture that's played back, the more elevation <laughs> elevation <laughs> for you. See, he won't even let me speak it out loud. It's yes. amazing the gifts doTERRA has given us to help us be better who we are. Well, today I turned to some of those magic citrus oils that we that were just out there. Yes, the new um, ones. Yes, and let me tell you what a difference. Yes, what a difference in the way I felt and in coming off of um of the things again. You know. Yeah, it really makes a very big difference. It does. And if you clearly state your intentions, and we're going to cover this again Wednesday night, walking each day. I do two 20-minute walks a day. I don't really like to exercise. I'm probably the last person to ever say, woo-hoo, let's go to a gym. Woo-hoo. Don't like it. It's, a, you know, it's not as productive for me. 
as it is for other people. But I do it when I'm beating up on the demon because he hates exercise. And so I beat up on him by doing the opposite of what he wants. Get it? Yes. And Sue, we found that walking in the pool it is getting warmer. We're supposed to have 90 degree weathers, you know, so I mean, that's walking as well. That's, you know, so it doesn't have to be on ground. If you're going to complain that your knees are going to hurt, walk in water. Yes. It works too. Affirmations. There's a mm. wonderful undated calendar that have tons mm -hmm. of affirmations. You've got to clearly restate your positive intentions. Right. And at the appreciation book, three new things. Part of your focus while you're walking is to figure out three brand new things you're going to put in your appreciation book at night before you go to sleep. I know right. the first five days it's not hard. After that, you've got to find new things to appreciate. It, yes. Yep, you have to do a lot of soul searching sometimes. Right. And you got to have less criticism of yourself and others in order to beat up the demon. If any of you mm -hmm. are Star Trek fans, do you remember the episode where the little shiny lights were making everybody fight? And the harder mm -hmm. they laughed, the less power the little shiny lights have. You need That's to do it that way. Well, laughter is definitely the best medicine. So put on something silly, read something funny, and it will definitely help you. Okay, one more thing, diet. When people uh -huh. get off sugar, everyone asks me, well, what do you use as a substitute? I don't. And Debbie's known me for years. I don't, do I? I don't have any Q Nothing. stuff or S stuff or any of that stuff. No. The only sweet no, I've ever not. used okay. is in the doTERRA slim and slassy. <laughs> <laughs> In, yes, in the in the in the powder mix. Yes, the stevia. Yes, yes, I can mm -hmm. taste it. So I just put enough bananas and blueberries in my protein in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it diminishes its ability to hang around. I can taste it. Mm -hmm. People do not drink diet soda. Please just drink water, especially during the first three weeks. Yeah, I, they're, they're even changing it now. They're taking the word diet out and ma now making it like zero instead. It still has all the bad stuff in it, people. It, they didn't change it. Um, Do your own so. research, but please, you're not helping yourself eating diet products. And you're not helping mm -hmm. yourself with artificial sweeteners. Because if you're truly giving up sugar and you use a substitute in the morning or at noon, all afternoon, there's going to be this undertow of depression because it didn't quite satisfy you. Right. Ask me how I know. Hmm. Personal experience, maybe? Yes, years ago. And please, yes. the longer the shelf life, the shorter the human life. Okay? Mm -hmm. Just a reminder. <laughs> My Sue, you really want to show off that body today. <laughs> yes. yes. All right. Remember, you always have choices, please. Yes. Choice, yep. chance, change. You must yep. make a choice to take a chance or your life will never change. And that's really the truth. Do not wait until next Monday. John was teasing me this morning and said, well... Jacques was having a big after Mother's Day sale. Jacques Ferrer is a very special handmade, hand-rolled chocolate company that's right across the street from John's office. And he was saying, hey, I was going to go over and take advantage of the day after Mother's Day sale. I said, well, you could do that, but it has to stay at work. It cannot come home. Because he, yeah. he wants to be sugar-free. So when he's with me, it's going to be sugar-free. You will mm -hmm. have friends, we were talking about this earlier, who, when you make this choice, don't tell them. Right. Because if you tell them, they who are not ready for this choice, by accident, will try to undermine you. Okay? Ooh, sabotage? Yeah. I mean, most of us have enough trouble with sabotage. That's one of the things we're going to cover. Mm -hmm. personal sabotage but you have to think new thoughts 
Right. You're doing this for you. You're not doing this for your mom, your brother, your sister, your husband, your boyfriend, your lover, your partner. You're doing this for you. So you have to like what you do. Right. And like you said earlier, Debbie, don't use the word diet. Right. And you know, a nice little trick is when you think you're hungry, sometimes you're not. And so what you do is have a nice glass of water, eight ounces at least, and wait, have, you, have yourself wait five minutes. After five minutes, if you're still hungry, then have a little snack. But you'll be surprised that sometimes it's that, the, that emotional trigger that makes us think we're hungry. And after we've had that water, I know it works for me. It's like you forget about it. You get involved in something else. You're reading a book. You're working on a project. You're, you know, doing your photography. And it's amazing how you totally forgot that you ever wanted anything in your mouth in the first place. Right. You have to just recognize, okay, I have a choice right here. Mm -hmm. I'm making a new choice. I love my new choices. And you That's have right. to acknowledge the difference in how you feel and feed that support as opposed to, why can't we have any ice cream? Okay. That's right. You can do it. You're really all very strong. You have the ability to do this you will work through it the first couple days may be difficult but you'll see the tremendous change in your body so stick with it right keep your oils with you just keep using them keep saying good mm -hmm. things okay just keep absolutely saying good things you can do it yes we have faith in you yes okay we love you guys we are going to yes. tune out now. We have a webinar tomorrow on the undated calendar and our new week 24. And on Wednesday, we are going to do vision board and journaling to relieve stored up old trashy emotions. Okay. Excellent. Perfect. Thank you. All right, everyone. Yes. Thank you so much. Thanks, Sue. Thank you. Happy spring. Bye, everyone.